You won't read about it in most history books, but if you think about it for a second, you'll realize boogers are not a new phenomenon. In fact, we know people have been trying to get rid of those things since Thanos was knee-high to a grasshopper. That's thanks to the popularity of a certain tool, a tool that Wikipedia memorably describes as a nasal douche. Pull your finger out of your nose and buckle up. We're gonna summon some snot genies with the neti pot on this week's Random Knowledge. I'm Geeks You Drink, Chief Editor Christopher Short. Every year we write 22,000 quiz questions, 20 words each. Some of those stories deserve more time, so we made a video series. We're Geeks Who Drink and we read stuff all the damn time. This is random knowledge. Much like your nasal passages themselves, the history of the neti pot is somewhat dark and gross. Most of the online histories are on websites that sell the things. But from what we can tell, the concept of the neti sutra or nose string goes back about 3,000 years to the Indian subcontinent. Ayurvedic medicine taught that a thread or a pot of salted water could get the gunk out clearing up sinusitis, rhinitis, and other nasal issues. Hatha yogis believe it's instrumental to your well-being in a more holistic way and can even increase your clairvoyance. <laughs> Bet you didn't see that coming, unless you use a neti pot, of course. But you can't deny that it looks kinda stupid. And that might explain why neti pots didn't come to America until the 1970s, about the same time as digital watches and Ziggy Stardust. Once a hidden practice, the neti pot has become more acceptable in the 21st century. In 2007, that preeminent physician, Dr. Oz, went on Oprah to explain the benefits, setting off a buying frenzy. Brian Van Holt did it to the dulcet tones of Enrique Iglesias on Cougar Town. Even Mike Myers got in on the fun with a typically classy and hilarious bit in The Love Guru. Not that anyone noticed. There are some sterility concerns. They touch all the bacteria bombs up your nose, after all. Neti pots have been associated with cases of Nagleriasis, Balamusia mandrillaris, and Daenerys targaryensis. Anyway, it's not that hard to stay safe. Remember to use distilled water, or if you have to use tap water, make sure you boil it first. Oh, and let it cool too. We won't be held responsible for your scalded nostrils. With that, you now have a free answer you can use at the Geeks Who Drink quiz on this date. If you don't know what that means, visit geekswhodrink.com to find out where we're doing live quizzes in your area. You might like it. If you like this video, how about actually liking it and subscribe to our channel while you're at it. And until next time, happy quizzing.